Algebra word problems number 12b, write solve equations with like terms. These are going to be problems about perimeter and combined lengths. All right, sometimes an equation needs to be simplified before we can start solving it, and like terms need to be put together. They need to be combined. When writing an equation from a word problem, we need to keep our eyes open for numbers standing alone or a variable multiplied by a coefficient. Do you remember what a coefficient is? It's the number in front of a variable, variable, and if the variable isn't there, then it's just a standalone number. All right, well, we need to keep our eyes open for those, the coefficients, and the numbers that are by themselves. And when a variable is in more than one term, the separated terms can be combined. And to combine them, we need to add or subtract the coefficients as it tells us to. So remember, any inverse operation we do on one side of the equal sign must be the exact same one on the other side, and we need to maintain our balance, okay? If we have 4x and 2x, we have 6x, right? That would be combining like terms. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Here's the perimeter problem. The perimeter of a rectangle is 300 meters. The length is 20 meters greater than the width. What is the length and width of this rectangle? So we think, we need to find the length and width of a rectangle. So let's draw one, okay? It says the perimeter is 300 meters. Well, perimeter means the measure of the outside, like a fence around it. So this side, this side, this side, and this side, all those four sides equal 300 meters. So that means that this length and this length, 2L, two lengths, plus this width and this width, two widths, is going to equal 300 meters. The length is 20 meters greater than the width, is what it says. The length is 20 meters greater than the width. Well, that means there's 20 more than the width, so it's plus 20. The length has tw uh, 20 meters more than the width does, right? So the length is equal to the width plus 20. Do you follow that? If the length is 20 meters more than the width, then it's the same as the width plus 20 more, and then we'd have the length, okay? So that's part of our equation. We know that two lengths is going to equal two times a width plus 20, because remember, there's two of them, all right? We also know that if we have two widths plus 20, two lengths, remember that this means the length. If we add two widths to it, it's going to equal 300. So this whole thing right here is representing the two lengths, okay? It equals the two lengths. And then this is going to equal the two widths right here, okay? So now we have the two lengths and the two widths, okay? And they're going to equal 300. So now we need to combine the like terms. So we do our multiplication. And remember distributive property? If you've watched my videos, you'd know about the, distribu the distributive property nest in the mother bird. This one is going to go to this one. And when it's done, it's going to go to this one with the addition problem in the middle. So that means we have 2w plus 2 times 20. Because remember, Inside the parentheses means it's multiplication, so we've got 2 times the w plus 2 times the 20. So now we've, our equation says 2w plus 2 times the 20 plus 2w. And to combine the like terms, we can put the 2w's together. And just like we did down here, when you've got a 4x and a 2x, it makes 6x. When you've got a 2w and a 2w, you've got a 4w. See? And we need to do this guy. We need to do this multiplication problem. So 2 times 20 is 40. So now we're down to 4w plus 40. Now it's starting to look like a, an equation we recognized, isn't it? So what we need to do is, because this is a plus 40, we need to subtract 40 from each side to isolate this w and get him by himself on one side of the equal sign. So it's plus 20. We're going to do the inverse minus, four, I'm sorry, 40. It's plus 40, so we're going to do the inverse of minus 40 on each side of the equal sign, so our scale stays balanced, okay? So now, this has turned into a zero pair, and we discard it. And we end up with 4w equals 300 minus 40 is 260. 
4w equals 260. So now we need to divide each side by 4 to isolate this w even more to get him by himself, to get rid of that 4, okay? Because 4w means 4 times w, 4 multiplied to w, we need to do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So we divide each side by the 4. That gets rid of this because it turns into a 1, and we can discard it and throw it away, and we just have 1w. Remember, because the numerator and denominator are the same, equals 1. And then on this side, 260 divided by 4 is 65. Well, now we're not done, are we? We've got the w, the width. What does it say that we need to do? What is the length and width of this rectangle? So right now, we know the width is 65. We know this right here is 65, okay? Now, it said, remember in the equation, that the length was the width plus 20. So the length must be 85. It must be 65 plus 20. So it must be 85. See? So did you catch that? Because the length was plus 20? So now we've got both of them, right? We've got the width and the length. And we've answered what the word problem wanted from us, OK? So we got both measures. I even checked it. I added 65 and 65 for the widths and 85 and 85 together, and I got 300, and it matched the perimeter going all the way around, so I knew I did it right, OK? All right, let's try this one. This is combined lengths. The combined lengths of the Nile and Amazon rivers is 13,108 kilometers. If the Nile were 234 kilometers shorter, it would be the same length as the Amazon. What is the length of each river? So we think, we have two rivers, right? And we know the total length of them together is 13,108. So we're going to let N be Nile and A be, is going to be Amazon, okay? Because remember, we turn the unknown amounts into variables that make sense. And then that way, we really can remember that the N was the Nile and the A was the Amazon. If we did X and Y, we might forget which is which. So this helps keep, keep us on track, doesn't it? All right. So we know the Nile plus the Amazon equals 13,108, right? So we know that much, okay? Because we know that the total of the length of both rivers together is that 13,000, because it tells us the combined length is, okay? Now, it says, if the Nile were 234 kilometers shorter, well, that tells us that it's longer. It said if it was 234 kilometers shorter, it would be the same as the Amazon. So that means it must be longer than the Amazon, right? So that means we need to subtract the 234 and they're equal. If we subtracted 234 from the Nile, they would be equal to each other. Okay? So that means Nile minus 234 is going to equal the Amazon. So now we've got more of our equation. So instead of writing an A in our equation for Amazon, we're going to let this whole thing equal Amazon. We're going to let N minus 34, 234, stand for the Amazon. And it's right here. See? So here's the Nile plus the Nile minus 234 is equal to the 13,108 kilometers. So now we need to combine like terms. We have two Ns here. All right? Now remember? In front of a variable, there's an invisible 1. In front of each one of these, there's like a little invisible 1. We don't usually write them because we can see there's one n there, and it's silly, right? But we know that 1 is there. So it says to add them. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So now we have 2n minus 234 equals 13,108. Ah, OK. So now it's starting to look real familiar again, like a problem we recognize. So because it says minus 234, we're going to add 234 to both sides to isolate that n by itself. Our whole goal is to get this n lonely and by himself on one side of the equal sign. So it says subtract 234, we're going to add 234. We do, and it gets rid of this, doesn't it? It becomes a zero pair. So now that just becomes a 2n on this side of the equal sign. Well, we have to add 234 to this side, so this number gets bigger. It becomes 13,342. 
All right. So now 2n means 2 times n to multiply n. So the inverse of this would be division to get rid of that 2. Now n would really be by itself. So let's divide 2 on each side, OK? And we do. And what happens is this ends up dropping off because 2 over 2 means 1. So we have 1n. And it equals 13,342 divided by 2. I did a little long division on the side, OK? And 2 goes into 13,342, and the answer is 6,671. So I know the Nile is 6,671, but what's the Amazon? Well, remember the Amazon is 234 miles shorter than the Nile. So I did a little subtraction, and I got the 6,671, and I took away 234 from it. And I got 6437. So I know that's what the kilometers of the Amazon is. Now I got both of them. See? I hope that wasn't too confusing. If it was, you can just move the video back for this problem to about, I don't know, the six and a half minute mark. Or start all over again to see the whole thing. But I hope you don't have to. I hope I explained it well enough. So we're going to do another one, one more video to show solving equations, writing and solving equations with like terms so that you'll be really good at writing them, writing those equations, solving them. The big thing is knowing how to write the equation. Once you write the equation, you can start solving it. It's turning these words into an equation that is usually the hard part, okay? So we're going to make one more video, 12C. I hope I see you there. Keep going. We can do this. Bye.